What's going on everyone, Darkwater here, and welcome back to Airport CEO. Hopefully you have your seatbelts fastened, your tray table up and locked, because we are going to take off on a new recreation series. As suggested by Dylan Holt, we are going to be looking at Nashville International Airport. Uh, we'll jump over to... Google Maps will do a quick overview on what we're looking at before we get too deep in here. All right, so looking at the map here, we've got Nashville and we've got Nashville International just outside of the southeast of Nashville, Tennessee, along the I-40. Uh, the Nashville International does service international flights from Nashville direct flights to London now. Uh, apparently that started in 2018, but let's go back to the beginning. Uh, the Nashville International, the IATA code is BNA, B standing for Barry Field, Nashville, uh, after Colonel Harry S. Barry, who was the airport's first administrator. The airport was initially established in 1937, uh, served by over 30 airlines, 26 passenger for cargo airlines, as well as the international flights going between primarily Nashville and London via British Airways, uh, was first established in 37 was requisitioned by the U.S. Air Force for Transport Command in World War II, was then uh, 1958, the City Aviation Department started planning to modernize and expand the airport. Uh, it currently is in a, another renovation and expansion that is supposed to be finished at the end of 2023 with roadway construction wrapping up in 2026. So the airport has four main runways. It's got the longest one, which is this one here, running from southeast to northwest at 11,000 feet. The remaining three runways are all about 8,000 feet. Zooming in a little bit, We've got our terminal here, has four concourses. We've got concourse A, which is this one up here. This has the international section way at the far end here, a couple gates. It's got concourse B with the Chick-fil-A and Little Harpeth Brewing, it looks like. Uh, concourse C, which is this L-shaped one. And concourse D, which is down here. There are Currently, as of, according to Wikipedia, currently 45 gates. Whenever the expansion is done, you're looking to get up to 69 gates. Uh, concourse A has 8. Concourse, that's this guy here. Concourse B has 11. Concourse C has 20. Concourse D has 6. We've got the main terminal area in here on the First floor, the floor below that, you've got baggage. The floor below that, you've got ground transportation. Um, it is serviced by most of the regular airlines that you would know and love. United, Spirit, Southwest, Frontier, JetBlue, Delta. Pretty standard. The largest share of the... Airport is Southwest with 55%. So it's a good chunk with Southwest. Uh, American Airlines is at 11%. Delta, 8.99% if you want to be exact. Uh, SkyWest, Republic, and other rounding out everything. Uh, airport destinations, Atlanta, Denver, New York, LaGuardia, uh, Chicago, Hare, Dallas, Fort Worth, Charlotte, Orlando, LA, Philly, and Washington running your top 10. So. Primarily East Coast, a couple to the West Coast, Denver and uh, LA. But as you would expect, primarily East Coast flights. 
Uh, going nearby, you've got your fuel depot over here. You've got all of your hangars. You've got your air traffic control tower up here, as well as your U.S. Uh, sector radar unit. So we'll probably be looking at doing all of our hangars up here, having our ATC up in the corner along with the radar. Um, probably going to do got all of the parking. There is massive parking garages opposite it. We'll have that in there as well. Probably do the catering depot and everything right up next to the fuel depot. And then the hangers up in the top corner. So let's jump back over to airport CEO and we will kind of map out and get things rolling. All right, so we are back in our map. It is the large map, so we've got the six tiles. Uh, we have it set to difficult. Not extreme, but not either of the other two easier ones. So we're sitting on a mill. We've got some cash. We're going to do three of the four runways, I think. Of course, it's not going to be at the angle that it was on the, uh, the map there. So we're going to have to make a little bit of adjustments. We'll do a medium runway over on this side. We'll do a large one for the 11,000 foot runway across the top. And we're going to do a vertical one for the other medium one somewhere over on this side. The concourse is going to be basically concourse A, B, and then C making the L and D this way. The most difficult part about this is the main portion of the terminal is on a diagonal. So if you had a chance to watch the uh, Pittsburgh International one, had to deal with diagonals there, but that was within the actual concourses, so we had to make adjustments for the getting the uh, the boarding gates to really line up. This is going to be the opposite, because all the gates are going to be on basically straight lines. So D, C, B sticking out left and right, and A vertical. But the main check-in. And all the restaurants are going to be kind of be on a, a diagonal. So that's going to be a bit of a challenge. Um, as always, the departures is going to be on the second floor to line up with the jetways in the game. Uh, arrivals on the first floor. So baggage is going to be handled on this floor. And underground will be our... Uh, transport areas, so our, all of our ground transport. We will probably have to add in a subway checkpoint at some... most likely. We'll see how many gates we end up with, but we'll probably have to add one in. I don't think there's a direct terminal, a link to any kind of busway or railway, so we'll have to make adjustments for that. But let's go ahead and get started. Um, Almost tempted to buy this tile immediately. But I think what we're going to end up doing is starting the bulk of the terminal over here, getting the concourse in, concourse A, and then getting the medium runway vertical. But I think we're going to get concourse A rolling. Not going to hook up the international section, but Concourse A is probably going to reach the bottom of the screen here and go up. We'll probably get a medium runway across to start with. And then we'll be able to get this tile and then make it vertical as we extend up. Parking garage is going to be basically over in this area, so we'll have a little bit of parking area, not to interfere with the, the runway. So we're going to start by actually moving this road, I think. Uh, let's see. So we're going to just drop the world entrance in over here. We'll get the...
public road in. And I am going to move you over here. No, we're going to move you over here. And that one there. Uh, you can go away. Now let's probably at least should get the clock running. Let's sign some contracts. Let's get ourselves some contract pours. Help here in the right place. There we go. We'll get this signed it. Okay, sure. So we will get some contractors here. We will get rid of this. And we'll probably start making some decisions right away here on where stuff's going to end up going. So the actual concourse is down here, but the main bulk of the terminal will start up over here. Um, we may only do one international gate because there's not a lot of international flights flying out but we may just do a single international gate uh, there are eight gates in concourse A we might split that down to maybe five uh, again, since we are going to be using actual airlines, I did not deploy my contract, did I? Contract. Wondering why nobody's building anything. Um, but we might do one international and five domestic. We are using the medium runways, not that I have it, but because the downloaded uh, actual airlines only handle medium flights, there aren't any large flights, so that's going to be have to be a thing. Okay, you guys are good there. Let's go ahead and get rid of that. You guys can go run over there. Let's get ourselves some terminal and start making some decisions. Looking at the map, it does not look like the terminal is symmetric in build. Plus Concourse D only has six gates, so we'll probably do just a couple, two, three. But we're going to go ahead and get some terminal foundation right apparently here. I can't build all the way down. And all the gates are on one side, so I'm not going to make it massive. I think we're going to start with seven. Eight. I'm going to go with eight. Okay. So we're going to start with that. You guys can go ahead and start building some structure. In fact, we will stretch this up a little bit more like that. Um, what? I can never remember what this distance. Can I? Can I? No. Right, because it's, it, it's weird on one side, so 175. Okay. So I think we're going to start with that. We're going to go ahead and take out 
that wall. I'm going to do a temporary road over here until we get the main portion of the terminal in. I want to get some flights up and running as soon as possible. I'm just going to take this over here like that. Go ahead and get some car stops in here. Taxi stands. Bus stops. It just dawned on me that this is also going to be a, a pain dealing with the diagonal. That sounds like a problem for another day. But we'll see. Yeah, this will be an adventure. Hopefully you guys, if you guys have any suggestions, by all means, drop it in the comments. Uh, we're going to just do this as a one-way system. That way. That way. Let's grab ourselves a door. This again is a temporary door. As this is going to be a actual gated terminal at some point in the future. Give me a small runway. I'm gonna stick with grass because it's going to be cheaper. Gonna set you right there. That'll work. That. There we go. You guys can get that built up going. I want immediately a staff room down here at the corner. Because I want some administrators in here starting to do some research right out the gate. a bunch of desks let's come in let's hire us some staff starting with administrators you 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 no you 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 uh might as well get us some janitors while we're at it because we want a clean empty building administrators you executive grab miss talk and we'll grab sandra gave it all so you will allow me to set fees you reduce construction costs and lower the risk of random accident. Good with that. Rotate things. We've got no flights yet. Obviously. Uh, let's jump in here. Get some license. A mead. Almost tempted just to wait a second and trying to remember how fast you can get medium. Ah, it doesn't matter because I can't can't afford a medium runway yet. Anyway, so let's come through. We're gonna grab a bunch of medium or small stands. And we're just gonna roll a bunch of them right here. And believe it or not, we're going to add in some fees. And I'm sure people will be excited to pay those fees. Uh, let's get 
Wrath stands going. And, and we'll take it all the way. Why not? Uh, there. And look, we've got a cow running around on the runway already. Connect all of these guys up. I'm going to go there. That's fine. That takes care of that. How are we doing on our commercial license? We've got that. I'm tempted to just take this out right out the gate go with medium let's go ahead and research that immediately get that going we do have commercial license so go ahead and take all these you know what there we go so all of those are now commercial Let's get ourselves some check-in desks and some information desks. No, we'll spool off on that for right now. And we're just going to drop these all the way across. Uh, what am I doing? Doing. That's not right. It's either been a while, or I'm very tired, or a combination of the two. Let's try this again. We'll just do these right here in front of the door. Uh, we also need a whole security area. Okay, I'm going to chalk this up to it's been a minute. Um, thinking here. Granted, this is all eventually going to become a baggage zone. Take it down like that. We are now secure. Let's get our security check-ins there and there. We'll do a security exit over here and here. Why not? So that'll take care of that. And we need some boarding desks. Uh, security guards are probably going to need to be a thing. We're going to need passenger service agents. We're going to need all kinds of things. You, 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 uh, you guys, uh, nope, security officers, plenty, let's grab a couple service techs, oh. not a very good pool of service tech, uh, service agents, no, we're even going to get ourselves some little ramp agents in here. Grab a couple janitors. We're just on a hiring spree right now. Did you not auto connect? Gonna auto connect? No. got that who's boarding over here because we're gonna have 
airlines is actually flying out of this concourse. Do I have any ideas on that? No, it looks like it's just a generic empty stand. Yeah, it doesn't look like it specifies. On this side, though, so the, the terminal section itself is kind of divided into two sections. One kind of servicing concourse A and B. Flying out of there is WestJet, British Airways, Air Canada, Delta, Frontier, United, JetBlue, and some smaller ones like Viva Aerobus, Swoop, Flare, and Contour. But it doesn't look like it has listed any specific airline gates. Have to check a little bit on that. But let's get ourselves some airlines flying in. How about we go over here where we can actually get some airlines flying in? Uh, let's start with Trinity and Havana. We'll start with U2. Is there a. We might as well just round out my executive staff real quick. I don't want to see IO because I want that auto planner. <laughs> Let's take a look at some flights here. Oh. You know, air traffic control tower is kind of a thing, isn't it? Um, huh. We're going to just drop you up in the corner up here. Eventually, it will go up in this corner along with the radar. Uh, fuel is going to be in this area along with the hangars. There will be a pass through to get the... Uh... Okay, we got our medium aircraft permit. Uh, the Kind of a pass through to get to the runway over there and actually can i pause for a sec that get rid of that why do i still have the small air traffic control tower list can i not get the medium air traffic control tower is that not included in it uh give me jet fuel because i can upcharge on that Nope, that's not what I want. I want this. Huh. There's a specific research for a medium air traffic control towers. But we've got fuel coming in. Medium Fuel Depot, Extended Commercial License. Yes? No. Large Runway, Large Air... And... Oh. Let's grab Night Flights as well. And we'll get that research. We'll start knocking out a lot of the research here. Uh, let's turn the runway on. Commercial flights. Turn off general aviation. Open up the airport. Uh, ramp agent service. Turn that on. 
them over here. Got the contract signed. Let's get some flights going. Get ourselves a nice Havana flight. Trinity flights coming in. Well. Let's go ahead and get things rolling. Should get some people starting to come in. Folks wandering in. We'll be able to start checking in soon. Meantime, you're just going to lollygag in the corner. How's our research going? I assume it's... Oh, nope, not yet. Don't want either of you. In fact, let's just kind of clear through everybody. Again, I want a decent CIO, please. Procurement we already have. What am I missing? Is it just the CIO? Oh no, I do need a procurement. You are fantastic. We'll hire you. And we'll hire you. That'll take care of that. Turn the auto planner on. And we have some flights coming in. So we are underway in Nashville. I'm going to go ahead and leave this episode here. Next time we're going to look at getting this extended a little bit further. And kind of uh, just get some money. Get some flights rolling in. Probably at a fuel depot up here. Just to get some fuel for some of the planes. And we'll look at potentially getting medium runways up and running in the very near future. But until then, I'm going to leave it here. Thank you for watching. And as always, I hope you guys have yourselves a great day. Oh, yeah.